Saturday, May 26th, IPW returns to Fernwood. Meet and greet IPW current tag team champions and former ECW and WCW superstars, Public Enemy, at 3 p.m. at Fernwood. If your club or organization is interested in having the IPW or IPW superstars for a fundraiser, call 570-668-4507. Time now for the Citizens Bank Weekly Top 10 here in IPW Power Hour. Number 10, Corporal Punishment. Number 9, Chris Candido. Number 8, Little Guido. Number 7, George the Animal Steel. Number 6, Mikey Whipwreck. Number 5, Julio De Niro. Number 4, Doug Fleck. Number 3, Crowbar. Number 2, The Patriot. Number one contender, the Sandman, and IPW champion, King Kong Bundy. Your Citizens Bank Weekly Top Ten list. Hello, wrestling fans. This is Jim Titus for IPW Power Hour. And this week, it is my pleasure to interview the legend, George the Animal Steel. You are not you are. George, what? Over here. George, what brings you here to the... I, I come to wrestle. What do you think? What's it? Do you have any? Are you looking for any titles here in the IPW? I'm looking for a fight. George, this week on IPW Power Hour, you're set to take fight. on a mystery partner. Hey! Opponent. Do you know who? You know is? why? You know why it's a mystery? Because they're back there trying to figure out who, who, who. Wrestling fans, we are back with the IPW Power Hour, and here comes, well, I, I, I want to see what's going to happen here, because it's supposed to be Doug Flex taking on George the Animal Steel, a WWF icon. You know Commissioner Bronski. What did you just say? That punk, that pretty boy punk. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for him. Well, this is our big scheduled main event this week for IPW Power Hour. And wrestling fans, I apologize. It was advertised and it was scheduled as Doug Flex That's taking on George the Animal see. Steel. This is a bad matchup. I agree with you. That was a lot. Give it up for Handsome Frank Stiletto. I can't believe Handsome Frank took a while with him. Just walk all over him like this. I thought he was a bigger That's man than right. us. I'm not going to tell him what designer made this shirt because they oh, sure as hell can't afford it. Ah, he is a snappy dresser. I'm starting to wonder about you. He's, he's, a, a, he's a good looking guy. And he's a great commissioner. He is not the commissioner. It says on his door. And listen to the crowd at Fernwood go nuts for George the Animal Steel, a legend in wrestling, and there he is! As George is as is, is confused as I am. What's up with the green tongue? You know that's George the Animal Steel, no one really knows. I can't believe he ate all the green M&M's. You should have heard my uh, phone conversation when I talked to George the Animal Steel. Oh, is that a treat? 
What's he looking for? Anything and everything. He likes plants. George is the best shape of his life. Yeah, he's like 642 years old. Where did you find him, the old folks? I'm looking at that. Bush kill? Doesn't matter how old George is, he can still handle himself in that ring, that's for sure. And it better be Doug Flex warming up and getting set. Like I said 500 times tonight, it's hands of Frank Stiletto versus George the Animal Steel. Well, tell me, is Doug Flex afraid of George the Animal Steel? He's a true big buddies with this crew, but what's the deal? Doug Flex signed the contract and have the contract right here in front of me. Contract, contract, that doesn't mean anything. Oh, it will come come uh, Monday when I call my lawyer. The Commissioner Bronski wants to get. Listen to the crowd. They love George Animal Steel. You know what's great about George Animal Steel? He has the same IQ as everybody in attendance. Young yes. and old love George the Animal Steel. Do you remember when he wrestled <laughs> Moses? He never pleased. Uh-oh. Some fan. Now look at that. Beautiful. Oh, he loves bears. Look at it. Oh, he loves bears. Is that a boy's bear? I don't know what kind of bear it is. Idiot. Look at that. Do you want to rub his head? Do you want to rub his head? He took that kid's stuffed animal. That was given to him as a present. From who? A fan. Weren't you watching the same monitor I'm watching? No, but you always say, maybe my monitor went out. That's what you tell me when, when you don't see anything. Maybe GQ's gonna have the bear wrestle George the Animal Steel. I think the you bear know, would beat him. For, for, for Doug Flex being his big bodyguard, why isn't he gonna wrestle George the Animal Steel? He doesn't need to what do you mean, waste his need energy, to? his time, you know, break a sweat with George the Animal Steel. That's why they have Stiletto around for. Somebody trying to say this. The uh, stiletto's the student of the, of the group? Yeah, hello. You didn't know? Does Frank know that? Have you ever talked to Frank? I try not to. He doesn't know his ABC. Nice you can get more of a conversation out of that bear that George Steele's holding. Exactly, that's why we keep... I mean, that's why Commissioner Bronski and Doug Flex and Dorinda... Keep it up. Keep it up. Go ahead. Keep it up. Hey, let's just... Do what I'm told. He know me, I play by the rules. Yeah. There's the bell, and I guess wrestling fans, I apologize, and I hate to do this, because I wanted to be a, a, a strict, I wanted to be a fair commissioner, and Doug Flex was scheduled to uh, to wrestle George Steele, and I guess he would be handsome. Frank's going, oh, now what is he doing right behind D. Edwards? Hey, D. Edwards is it. He can take out George the Animal Steel, I think. Well, somebody better wrestle George the Animal Steel. How about you wrestling? I'm the commissioner. You want to get in there? You and I? No. Good. Well, George gave up the bear, though. That's the important thing here. As far as Frank is concerned about the bear, GQ and Doug Flex, you see they're still laughing over there. I think as far Frank, he deserves to get treated better than this. Why do you think that? Oh, here we go now. Look at this. What the? Look at George the Animal Steel. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Unorthodox. Look at that. So Frank, <laughs> out he goes. That's the George the Animal Steel we all know and love. And out goes Handsome Frank. And look at GQ getting right in his face. Right in the face of Handsome Frank Stiletto. He has to listen to what GQ says. He's the leader of that group. And there's George stroking the bear. What's he doing to that bear? Look at GQ, give it to Handsome Frank. You know, the GQ is still so oh, right. Why doesn't he get in the ring? He doesn't need to. No one needs to. He's the Flex doesn't have to. He's the brawn. Oh, here we go. GQ is the brains. You know, I think you're the stew. Durant is the beauty. Did you bring your bags in this week? And that's what Stiletto does. He carries the bags. That's the other GQ. Oh, oh, Handsome Frank's back in. Oh, there's Durinda. Hello. You might see him hurt somewhere. We need to do what the music video since you're the supposed commission. Oh, look at George, here we go again. Look out. Oh, come on! Please! What ring psychology do you have by George Steele? He acts as crazy as he actually is. Come on, 
So is Frank still going to wrestle or what? He's supposed to. Well, I don't see much wrestling going on here. GQ is back in his face. What's George doing with the bear? He's giving the bear to somebody at ringside. I think he gave the bear to Dorinda. He did. Well, I think, you know, you know George likes the females. We know that in past history. Yeah, he is a, uh, he has a little bit of a tendency to get all caught up with the females at ringside for what he's doing inside the ring. And he also likes to do a little batting on someone's own in the ring. Look at him. He's taking a bite out of Frank. Oh, come on. It was only a little bite. He barely broke the speed in the essay, right? Well, for me, D. Edwards is counting. But Hanson Frank is Where's saying, he going? I have no idea. Well, where is he going? What is this? Commissioner Braun is not going to stand for this. Uh-oh. George the Animal Steel just stopped the count. GQ's upset. Up to two. Stiletto has to get back in the ring. Where, where, where did Hanson Frank go? Four. He has to defeat. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, no, no. George the Animal Steel. This isn't going to happen like this. What do you mean? Th no, this is crazy. Eight. Up to nine. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. There's not going to be a count out this week, third degree burn. What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, no. We'll be back, and there will be a match. I'll make sure of it. We'll, we'll be right back. Where are oh, you going? Oh, there's going to be a match. Oh, no. IPW returns to Fernwood on Saturday night, May 26th, with IPW champion King Kong Bundy taking on Big Slam, the tag team champions, public enemy, in a tables match. Mikey Whiprick and Crowbar taking on the FBI. Cruiserweight championship between Mike Quackenbush and Reckless Youth. Also a special midget match that night. Plus, the Patriot with Doug Flex and Dorinda, Julio De Niro, GQ. Get your tickets now.